So I'd like to talk about two additional gates from the basic gates we talked about earlier, and that's uh, these two gates here. Uh, this gate, uh, this symbol and truth table represents a gate called the exclusive or and this symbol in its truth table is the exclusive nor. And you can see from the truth tables that uh, these gates are unlike the earlier gates we talked about, which are basic gates. Uh, remember, we've talked about the not gate, which is also the inverter, uh, and an or, and nand and nor. But you can see here that, that the exclusive or, unlike those uh, basic gates, it has a different truth table where you'll just get a one out of an exclusive or only when the inputs are different. And uh, you'll get a zero out when the inputs are the same. Uh, the exclusive nor, it's just the opposite of the exclusive or where you'll get a one out when the inputs are the same, but you'll get a zero out when the inputs are different. Now, in a K-map, and here's an example of a K-map where we don't have any uh, two or four or eight group uh, groupings. Okay, we just have these single uh, groupings here. But when you have this case where you have single groupings that are diagonal from each other, uh, it's a sign that uh, you can represent that uh, k-map with either exclusive or, or exclusive nor. So to see that that's true, uh, we're going to write out uh, the expression here for this k-map. Okay, so this cell here is index 0. So that's the term for index 0. Uh, this term here is index uh, 3. Uh, this index 5. And finally, this is index 6. Okay, so we just wrote out from the K-map our Boolean expression. And if you take a look at this, uh, we can factor out uh, not A from these two terms here. So I'll factor out that not A and write it like this. Okay, so I factored out the not A from these two terms. And from these two terms here, I can factor out A. Okay, so now once we've factored out uh, the expression here, if you look right here, well, this is... Um, this is an exclusive nor, right? Because see, we've got, actually I forgot to write it over here, but from this truth table, um, the exclusive nor, you get a one out when both A and B are zero, or when both A and B are one. So this expression right here is an exclusive nor. And this expression here, uh, this is an exclusive or, right? Because if we come over here, the Boolean expression for the exclusive or would just be that we get a one out for not a, b, or for a, not b. Uh, also, 
uh, there's a special notation in Boolean algebra for exclusive or, a special uh, symbol for the operation. See, instead of writing this, we could just write that A is exclusive or with B. Okay, so its symbol for exclusive or is a plus uh, within a circle. And for the exclusive nor, okay, the shorter way to write this would be exclusive or, but then the whole thing nodded to make it exclusive nor. So getting back to this, using this symbology here, we can now write this expression to look like this. Oops. Uh, let me erase that. So we can write this here. is just okay, like that and then this is P exclusive word with C And now, if you take a look at this, we can even go one step further. Right, because if you just think of B exclusive word with C as like an X variable, here we have not X uh, along with, excuse me, not A along with not X or A along with X. So variable A and our exclusive or with, uh, or excuse me, uh, A along with B exclusive or with C, well this is uh, an exclusive nor. So I can write finally that A So this here's our fine whoops. <laughs> Let me erase this and do this neater here. I all right. So yeah, the final answer here would be right here that our final answer is um, the exclusive nor of A exclusive word with B exclusive word with C.